in osteichthyans. There were advances in the nuclei of the brain and the tracts which communicate with the cerebellum. The size of the fourth ventricle was reduced. Just as in sharks, there can be a significant variation in the cerebellum of, say, bony fish, especially in those which have an advanced lateral line system to sense movement in the water, or in those fish which are capable of generating electrical impulses, which is largely controlled by the cerebellum. In early tetrapods and in frogs today, the white and gray matter were better separated um, in the cerebellum. And in addition to the gray matter on the cerebellar cortex, a single deep cerebellar nucleus evolved homologous to the dentate nucleus of mammals. Also, the neuronal cell type of basket cells are shared among tetrapods. In the early amniotes, as in turtles and alligators today, a second deep cerebellar nucleus uh, evolved, the homolog of the vestigial nucleus in mammals. Other uh, shared features included fissures in the uh, cerebellar uh, cortex and other features. As birds evolved, a larger brain and more complex control over muscle coordination, the cerebellum became larger. And this was primarily due to the enlargement and the foliation of the vermis region of the cerebellum, as opposed to uh, the expansion of the cerebellar hemispheres in mammals.